So, last time I showed you how to basically use that uh, repo API I wrote to connect the GPIOs of the Raspberry Pi to Scratch. Uh, this time I want to show you a little bit more complex example on how to um, use that API and what you can do with that API. So, I'll load that thing. Um, and uh, I made several script parts on different objects. The first one is on the stage, which is used to just configure all the stuff we need and to to uh, to to give some basic um, basic operations. So at the moment, you click start. The um, IOs 24 and 23 are configured as inputs, and then it enters that uh, forever loop, which uh, is responsible for blinking the LED on port 25. It just turns the port off, waits a second, turns it on, waits another second, and so on. Um, then it registers to key pressed listeners. So if I press key 1, it will um, enable the uh, LED on port 4, and if I press key 2, it will switch that off. So, and what you see on the screen is that uh, sun icon. Well, if I go to that sun object, I see that um, there is a message receiver which listens on the heartbeat. The heartbeat is sent from the uh, sensor daemon every five uh, seconds. And if Scratch receives that me message, it just goes um, and changes the color of the sun. Uh, it also plays that funny soup sound. Then um, on the cat we do have something else. Uh, the cat listens on input changed um, messages. Those messages are sent by the uh, sensor daemon every time an input changes from high to low or from low to high. And I configured um, on the stage the inputs 24 and 23 um, to be inputs. So. If I go and press a button, the cat just says thank you for pressing the button. If I press the other button, the cat goes and says meow. So, with very simple um, assignments and, and, and messages, you can easily connect your Pi or other stuff uh, to Scratch by using the remote sensor protocol.